Happy Sunday. How are you all doing? It has been a busy week. A busy week. Normally when you have a busy week or a busy day, it can actually take a toll on your skin. Today we're going to talk about natural ingredients. Natural ingredients that can reduce the wrinkles and fine lines, boots the collagen production, and basically transform your skin. Now, why do we talk about natural remedies that help the skin to look better? We talk about this because we age. As the day goes by, we're aging. And it doesn't matter what your age is, you are moving up, not downward. However, that's something we cannot stop. We cannot stop the aging process. We all are living much longer. And people are living much longer because we are now more informed, we are now more exposed, and we are now more aware of how to basically take care of our body and the whole. So with that said, what can we do to look better at any age? We can use natural remedies. We can spend a little extra time on ourselves. We can choose to do exercises, or we can choose to eat a healthy diet, and we can choose to de-stress. So today we are going to take the time to do some natural, to go over some natural ingredients that can help us to look younger. Yes, we are not being vain wanting to look younger, because if we're living longer, we also want our body, our face, and our whole being to, you know, be more active. You don't want to be living 10, 20 years and you just look really, really old right during the time. You want to look at least 10 years younger. And if you can look up to 20 years younger, it's all good. So anti-aging remedies, natural anti-aging remedies that can boost collagen, reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and help your skin to look better while you also take care of your skin, take care of yourself internally. Let's do it Sunday Chit Chat and we are live. We're live on YouTube and we're live on Facebook. If this is your first time, watching Sunday Chit Chat, a warm welcome to you. Now, Sunday Chit Chat has been running for a couple of years. It is one of our live show that is always around. We saw many others, which will not really continue, but this one goes on. Now, if you are an oldies but good, good is, we have Jill, we have Maya, Vasha, Jason, um, we also have Renee. We also have um, Georgia, Claudia, Lioness, Keisha, Makeup Forever. Um, who else is here? Um, if I don't call Rosie. Hi, Rosie. How are you? Key Washington, Aminia, Maureen Sime. It seems like I have not been on for so long. Unbreakable. Um, TT and um, TT was asking a question on the comment today and I was looking over it. Now guys, we are all here and someone is talking about the blueberry rice. Um, blueberry is the, the, it's actually the butterfly PT recipe. And I actually brought it on today for you all to see. This is mine. And the honest truth is uh, you're getting this, the video, because this is the tea that I am now currently drinking. I am using this tea as a tea and it tastes really good when you had like some um, creamer to it, like some hazelnut or some vanilla creamer. That's when you're drinking it hot. And guess what, guys? It also tastes good if you're making like, you know, some uh, Moscow mule and you want, you know, want it to look a little fancy and stuff like that. Very, very versatile. But what I like most about it is the antioxidant properties. Now, if you know anything about antromycin, that's what gives like blueberry that's amazing, pretty color. And those tend to be stronger. And this channel, we use like purple rice because that purple color, is rich in antioxidant that can help to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and boots collagen production on the skin. For every vegetable, there is a purple vegetable and that is actually considered better than the green one because of the antromycin. So even now I noticed that they're making like purple broccoli. You have um, purple, I'm using the word purple even though some people think it's you know bluish or whatever. 
you have like okay like i have some orchid behind me that's a blue orchid if i was to use orchid on my face that's the one i would go for now you have ibiscus which the 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 um the butterfly pea flowers is a form of a ibiscus believe it or not so therefore if you don't have the butterfly pea flowers go ahead and use the ibiscus but anything that is purple like rich blue bright color is good for the skin topically because on also internally because of the rich anthromycin antioxidant properties reducing the wrinkles and fine lines i search for things for you guys and i actually search for things for myself too i like to discover things and when i discover this pea flowers i was so excited like and then i just start doing the research and i've been using it for a while and i decided you know what it's about time to share so guess what guys you have the overnight mask and this overnight mask i'm telling you look at this guys if you haven't seen the video is up we're going to talk about wrinkles and fine line but look at this overnight mask and someone was asking why do you call it a mask and not a moisturizer i call it a, a mask because um you need to rinse wash it off and when you apply it on the skin it's gonna tighten that skin and guess what because we're using rice raw rice in it i just feel like it's an overnight mask and if you are looking at the camera i'm not so good with the, the 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 camera right now but let's see yes that's it it's actually disappear in the skin now when you leave it on your skin it's going to dry on the skin which is going to take about three to four minutes but when it's dry on the skin what i like about it it's not going to feel cracky you know what i'm saying it's not going to feel flaky because of the moisturizing properties that is in it i'm using this i so love it no gimmick no joke i show the live demonstration in the video where i just applied in my laugh lines and i just smooth it on like this and it's basically the deep crease just basically disappear that's not magic that is life it's not permanent but with continuous use it can help your skin to look better i post the link below this video because a lot of people were asking where they could get it from even though i have the link on the video where it said product list most people are not familiar with the product list and how to use Use that people are still using the description box which is what I personally like so I list it so guess what I use this pea flower for I use it to make a overnight mask I also use it to make an amazing facial moisturizer it's a moisturizer slash serum i use some olive vera gel in it and some vegetable glycerin kick it up a notch it's not post as yet but sometime this week i'll post it another thing that i make from this is some guess what facial toner guess what guys the facial toner is the bomb and i actually mix the facial toner and mix it with coconut water so i brew the tea i let it cool and i mix it too with some coconut water and then i had some um vegetable glycerine to it and i shake that up and spread it on my skin my face on my neck i'll post a video sometime next week i'll, I'll try to make the video for for it and look at that now this is dry and you can see that it don't look you know flaky or anything like that so this make a good skin tightening facial overnight mask why are we sharing this because the the video today this live show is seven natural natural ingredients that can boost collagen reduce wrinkles and fine lines and transform your skin get rid of you know the raggedy looking skin and give you that fresh natural glow to the skin we have a new person on today who is id welcome to our live chat and you are here because we're sharing recipes and we're also sharing beauty tip we also have um tajuana warren love your videos and thank you for that um fate f41h welcome um simone phillips welcome and um who is here everyone okay all right so marine french welcome all right so we are going to talk about some more ingredients i hunty welcome to the shot um key washington key washington welcome to the chat and um who else um juliana 
I'm missing you. Brooklyn, New York. Welcome, Jackie Mom. Welcome. So we have all our faithful subscribers on here. Now, if you have any question about getting rid of wrinkles on the face, comment, comment, comment. Go ahead and ask your question. Now, if you're new to our chat, people in green are members of the channel, and we also have everyone else in uh, um in black on the channel now if we have a moderator on the channel then the moderator would be in blue okay so if there's no blue on the channel if there's no one with a blue spanner on the channel it means that we don't have a moderator for the channel now if we have a blue spanner we do have a moderator so for those of you who are extremely curious to know if we have a moderator on the channel or on the live chat, right now we do. For those of you who are extremely curious about um, Lioness, and that's Lioness TV commenting and basically doing the work as a moderator, we're gonna take the elephant out of the room today and we're gonna talk about it really, really quick. Because I know a lot of you, my old subscribers, that is, this one is for you, okay? I normally be like, oh, I knew my old folks, but I'm coming at you all today. So you are all curious about who Lioness is. Lioness TV and I go way, 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 way back. Years, 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 years. That's like, that's my best friend, okay? That is my best friend. So now that that is out of the way, when you see Lioness commenting and doing what she need to do, that is because she got my back, okay? And that's why she's doing that. So with that said, for those of you who are curious and we are addressing it today, probably not the right place because we're talking about reducing wrinkles and fine lines. Lucy, what happened to Lucy? Lucy was the moderator on the channel and um, something happened on one of our live chat. Something happened. Now, in every business that you do, there is always time when people that do things for you um, messed up. I messed up also, people messed up. So what had happened is uh, something was said on the channel which was a little out of line. I wanted to address it but the honest truth is i do not like to address things when it's hot i don't especially when it comes on to business i do not address things when it's hot and the reason why i don't address things when it's hot i don't like gossiping and i also like to be in the right okay and if it's hot i might just start throwing a tantrum and i don't want to for i don't want to fall in a situation where i said things that i shouldn't really say so with that said, some misunderstanding between Lucy and I. I respect that woman, still respect, will always respect. She did an amazing job on this channel. We cannot deny her that. She has been here from day one. And yes, we do miss Lucy on the channel, but we have things to work out. Is this the end of Lucy on the channel? That is Lucy decision. This is someone that I work with. If you notice, for those of you who are asking, there's no one on the channel with a blue spanner. It means that Lucy has not been replaced, okay? Lucy has not been replaced, so we're clearing the year. I know you also all miss Lucy, and we all miss Lucy, but Lucy and I have some things to work out, and when we work it out, it's up to Lucy whether or not she wants to be back on the channel. Would I accept her that? Yes, I would, okay? So with that said, we are all one happy family, and for those of you who are new, guess what? Drama comes wherever you go, and sometimes we got to... There's two words out there. There's one that you call pride and there's one that you call ego. Pride and ego normally walk on in and shake on together. I have a lot of pride, but guess what I don't do most time? And all my friends and family know, I don't try to let ego take over because ego is the culprit, okay? Ego, ego sometimes could just let you do things that you don't want to do. Now, when it comes on to pride, we have it, but guess what? Sometimes people need to drop the pride. I am big enough to, to have the conversation, and the conversation hopefully will have. So with that said, we're out of the way, and I clear it up. This has been going on for a couple of months, and a lot of people are like, 
is she ever gonna address it so now we address it on the sunday chat why the sunday chat because this is the place this is a platform and this is where everything went down all right so until then and we resolve whatever is going on we are doing the live come september we have a, well, a lot of shows coming up a lot of live shows and we'll see what is going to happen from there all right so let's move on if you have a question ask it right now because we're not going to talk about it again all right we are going to end it right here they said if you don't bring drama to youtube you don't get views i probably should have bring on the drama at that time but that's not me that is not me i don't gossip if I'm gossiping, I'm gossiping about myself. I don't like to hear my dirty laundry in public and I like to do things privately. That is me. I'm not a talker unless I'm on this platform. Okay, all right. So we are... I love the way, thank you so much for that. Um, Taryn, I love Chichi even more for that. Truly appreciate, thank you so much. You're a beautiful soul and I told you, love your accent, thank you. Um, um love you the way you address the issue thank you so much for that it was and it's a long time coming and it should be addressed all right so we are talking about getting our skin to look younger and fresher reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and we are also here to help each other out so question if you have any skincare concern natural remedies that you want to ask go ahead and ask veronica never crossed my mind drama would happen on social media i thought that is only for office guess what girls drama take you wherever you are but it's for you to learn how to control the drama and guess what let's let's be honest guys let's be open with this okay if we were running this live chat with a bunch of females mostly 90 percent females and we didn't have drama then something would be very very wrong okay especially when you're family oriented okay because this live chat especially our sunday chat believe it or not it's you might not see it if you're new but once you start to watch the sunday chat you know that this is heavily heavily family based not my relative per se but my channel members like everyone is invested and everyone is a part of this like really dedicated to this live chat so that is what happened you have a whole set of children a bunch of children which my subscribers are like you know and guess what people are gonna fight and people are gonna say things that offended each other on the chat and people are gonna say my subscribers sometimes gonna say things that offend me but as i mentioned about pride and ego sometimes once you're on a platform like this you have to learn and how to deal with things and deal with it on a professional level regardless if you feel hurt about something yes or no all right so um dark angel you made my me buy a facial steam and i have no idea if i could use it before or after exfoliating and we are gonna answer that mine is not here right now so let me tell you how to use it first i'm gonna tell you how to use a facial steamer and then i'm gonna tell you how i personally use it now when it comes on to exfoliating the skin you should be exfoliating your skin at least twice per week when you exfoliate your skin it allow your beauty products to work better on your skin no joke no gimmick that is facts okay now steaming makes your beauty products work even better on the skin now how do you steam your face you either use a facial steamer or you use the regular whole method of you know loading a pot up with water get hot water and let that steam eat your face or you go in a sauna for those of you who have those kind of luxury and that is the way you steam your face and i also think that i invented the kettle method where if you have a whistling kettle you kind of go and step back a little and let that steam eat your face which i find to be a little better than my personal steamer and that is a no joke all right so that is some steaming method how often should you steam your face one to two times a week is good enough because you take a shower every day and some people use warm water in the shower so one to two two times a week is good exfoliate before or exfoliate after now personally for me i like to steam my face first and then i exfoliate why is that if you go to get a facial done they are going to steam your face before 
during and after most places if you go to for a facial your fish is going to be steam before exfoliating during exfoliating and after exfoliating okay for me i like to steam first and then i exfoliate and if i have the time i pass the steam over my face a second time so choose whether you want to steam exfoliate and maybe steam again or not or choose whether you want to steam while exfoliating i went to boston a couple of weeks ago and i actually gave my aunt a facial and i was doing the steaming while i was exfoliating which she found to be very refreshing so choose either to steam exfoliate or exfoliate while steaming and if you steam before you exfoliate and you feel like doing a second steam then you can do it and that goes for everyone so that is the way to steam the face you steam the face at least twice per week do not overdo it and the fact that you have a steamer that steam is control okay whatever is letting out is good enough to eat your face if you're gonna do the pot method you got to regulate the amount of steam that eat your face you are in control so you need to not when you steam your face shouldn't be burning okay so you step back a little and let that eat your face where you are comfortable all right and if you're using the kettle method is the same and if you have none of those method you can also use your wash rug dip it in some hot water test it on your hand put it over your face and let it sit on your face for a couple when it cool down you dip it again and you put it over it and i actually like that method too because that have to get the grease and dirt out of the pores and it also have your exfoliating when you're exfoliating to get it done even better all right so what time should you steam am or pm you choose the time to steam your face it's up to you choose the time that you have the time okay so if you have the time 12 noon go ahead and steam your face 12 noon whenever you are comfortable you have that amount of time to dedicate to steaming your face that is when you steam and you should steam at least twice per week mama rosa thank you i'm using the moisturizer to reduce forehead wrinkles and laugh line using seven day i see my line diminishing I love these comments and I, the reason why I love these comments is because sometimes people think these are like gimmick but if you listen to how I explain to you to take care of your skin once you start to do it you should see some result most people watch and are and you know just excited about watching but don't actually follow through you got to follow through look at my hands guys for those of you who notice that I applied the overnight um, mask that's it look at that no it's dry and when you touch it like this you know something is on it and you 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 gotta try it if you're just joining this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about now if you do not have the butterfly tea go ahead and use some blueberry in this or some hibiscus and guess what you can even use some rose petal and do it just the same green tea is good someone asked on the comment if they could just use coffee with the mixture of course you can it's wrinkle fighting the difference is the antioxidant the anthromycin that you're getting in this and you find that in like blueberries and that is why we recommend blueberries or hibiscus leaf all right so make it your own make it your own you have some purple cabbage or some beetroot you can actually try it and i'm gonna put a second layer i'm just telling showing you how amazing this is this is like you as just looking at it you cannot just predict the the ingredients because no one would know that this is heavily based in rice yes this is heavily based in rice rice is the main ingredient and the antioxidant is from the butterfly um pea flowers which i just gave a whole set of um of ingredients that you can use in place of the butterfly pea flowers if you have a question go ahead and ask hi auntie how are you that is alex day happy sunday all right can you steam every day that's a question from brooklyn new york which we just answer key washington i have fine lines on my mouth and i never smoke what is the cost and how can i reduce them now key washington it doesn't matter what your race is <laughs> those things tend to happen that is because you are 
age it. Okay. Yes. Believe it or not, we age in different ways. Some people tend to get the sagging thing going on first. Some people get that upper mouth wrinkle. And a lot of people think when you have this upper mouth wrinkle is because you smoke. And yes, you do get it when you smoke, but other factors, your bone, your teeth structure in your mouth have a lot to do with the way up here, up your, your upper lips look also. Now, whatever you're using, um, and I share um, re, um massage that you can use for the upper um, lips. You can hold one end and you can do it like this. Hold the other, do it like this. Or you can use both fingers and you do this like about um, 10 to 20 times every day while you are massaging the rest of your face. Definitely give that a go. Use your anti-wrinkle, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. Use any of our oil blend, rosehip oil, standalone kiwi oil that can help, but you got to do the massaging, okay? And make sure that it is fully hydrated. How much time you steam? Very, very good question. How much time you steam? far five minutes no you really need just about three minutes believe it or not run about three minutes is good five minutes is like if you are in the sauna and you're really chilling but if you choose to go up to five minutes it's up to you but three minutes is good three minutes seems very very long believe it or not all right so we are moving on if you're just joining we are sharing seven remedies to tighten and firm reduce wrinkles and fine lines boots the collagen production and also clear skin now we mentioned the butterfly pea let's talk about rice rice why do we use the rice rice has been used for centuries and you find that mostly Japanese, Korean, and all of that. But because of the internet, we all are now on the rice bandwagon. Personally, for me, I knew about rice way back, way, way, way back when I was like a skincare junkie. And the black rice was one um, set of beauty products, skincare products that was very, 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 very pricey. Reason for that is going back to the anthromycin. The antromycin in the black rice, just like the antromycin in the blueberry and also the butterfly pea I discussed, that is why that was so pricey because it had to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines and boost the collagen. Now, as years goes by and by and I start my research, I discover purple rice. So for those of you who watch my videos, you see I'm doing my hands like this because I you know, was watching this everybody's doing it and i am like um you know just uh, trying that dance also anyway the purple rice is a good substitute now listen carefully i do a quite a bit of video using purple rice for the very reason why i make this video so if you have leftover purple rice then you can make this remedy using the purple rice okay you can add some green tea along with the purple rice basically you get in the same result because what we're going for is the antromycin from this for your skin if you have not seen the video that we posted this morning using this someone said it looked like doni and i didn't even thought about that but yes it does but look at that still showing my hands that's why you can go to sleep with it. Nothing is rubbing off, okay? I'm putting more. Nothing is rubbing off. If you can try this, if you have the rest of the remedies, if you have the ingredient, definitely is a must try. All right, we are moving on to natural ingredient. I do not know how, what I'm doing wrong. I massage my forehead and the wrinkles are now more defined. We got to answer this question. And if you're watching and you know the answer to this question, go ahead and comment, comment, comment. Now, I do not know what I'm doing wrong. I massage my forehead and the wrinkles are now more defined. Now, what could really cause that? Circulation. Circulation. Now, when you massage, your boots in a circulation. Now, if the wrinkles are more pronounced, it might be that it's going to be pronounced before it disappear. Now, you need to boot collagen in your skin. If your skin does not have enough collagen and you are massaging, then that could happen. What is collagen? Collagen is what basically give the skin the plumpness. So how do you boots collagen in the skin you do so by eating 
food that is rich in collagen peptide such as like um you're gonna find it in um jello you're gonna find it in bone broth they also have collagen powder out there selling whatever supplement you're gonna take consult your doctor first but they do have collagen supplement you can um supplement you can also make you can tell i'm jamaican right supplement anyway you can tell although it's from anyway let's not get into that now you can also make your own collagen boots in um remedies at home by you know getting that bone from the meat you're cooking boiling it and drinking the water or you can eat more green leaf vegetables but you definitely if you've seen that happen it's more that you need collagen in the skin and what are you doing here pauline see i know it's over I didn't expect it to be on i know anyway so that is what you need to do to further plump the skin now take a listen you're massaging what are you massaging with in your situation you need vitamin a and vitamin a will help to boost the collagen topically on the skin where do you get vitamin a the strongest thing out there on the market now especially in the the celebrity world is the bakuchiel oil okay and we have it here i think i have it somewhere upstairs that bakuchi oil is like the new retinal natural that is so that is good for massaging on the skin to have to shrink though to get you know to get rid of the forehead wrinkles but don't forget the good old rose oil the good old carrot seed oil the good old cacao oil which is another oil that is rich in um, vitamin a which is good now if you can't get your hands on any of those oil your next best oil which i love is some avocado oil because it's going to cover all of that so do not just massage your skin without using the vitamins on the skin topically, but use it up and also make sure to consume vitamin A, but definitely consult your doctor before you start, as I said, any supplement. This is just my personal opinion of what might be happening. Do not take it for a doctor's advice. This is not doctor's advice. We're just sharing some tips with you. All right. So. Make sure you are not massaging skin when it's okay. Thank you so much for that, Razi. And that's why I mentioned all the oils um, when it's dry. You need to use oil on the skin before you massage. Okay. You definitely need to use something before you massage. And if you can make any of my rice remedy, anyone whether you can make this one or others that we have on the channel it's easy you could get some rice and you can you know boil it or put out we have different styles that we make it in really good those um you know japanese and koreans and all of that it's not no gimmick it's really half the skin and the way we make it on our channel kick it up a notch because we not only use the rice but we had the anti-aging properties to it like we had the rosehip oil we had the cacao oil the vitamin e oil and that's what take it to the next level all natural welcome if you're just joining um welcome to our live chat today we are sharing ingredients that can help to boost the collagen reduce the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and transform the skin um if you have a question for me since it's Sunday chit chat, go ahead and come in. Now, guys, for the ice water, we're still going to be doing our ice water challenge. Now, it's not a challenge, you know, just, you know, to show. However, we are looking for a couple of people to come on our live show, which is going to be one of our Sunday show, where you're going to show your skin. We already have a few people. We're looking for more. You're going to come on. You're going to show your skin. We're going to give you some remedies with ingredients that you have in your house and we're going to make sure you have those and you're going to use it for a couple of weeks and then you're going to come back on and we're all going to see the result many of my subscribers have been asking for this especially commenting on the my video because some of them feel like oh when you use your remedy on your skin you're not showing us anything because your skin already look okay so you need to bring some people who need so we could really so that is why we are looking for people we're looking for at least 10 people not sure how many we have we probably have about six or seven but we're still looking for more because we do can do more than one batch okay so definitely send your information to chichi beauty 
at gmail.com if you want to be on our live show be on our live show to show your skin okay and when you come on the live show we're not asking you to dress up we want you to come with your face beer so you be brave okay be brave years ago i would not go nowhere at all without makeup believe it or not i was always always wearing makeup now i'm more confident within myself to go out and show my face you know looking all raggedy so definitely be prepared that that's what we want we want you to come on show your skin and then we're gonna give some remedies and see how it works and can you spell that oil good to use the batchy oil look in the description box if you click in the description box you're gonna see we have some link to that oil and i'm also gonna link the oil when i am done under the video but i think it's already under there so you can check it out hello locket welcome to our live chat who is missing today i think um um, or a little friend that work up in, in the, in the Bronx is missing. All right. So anyway, we are moving on and guess what guys, September coming, we are going to start back our 25 days skincare challenge. If you have not been a part of the 25 day skincare challenge and you want to join the 25 day skincare challenge, then you can do so. We're going to announce the date very, very soon when we're going to start in september so we're doing the 25 day skincare challenge in september and that is going to be the third in the series okay and we're going to bring on some new things even though the last one was really good we're also going to come back with our daytime show weekdays with chichi beauty it's not going to be on every day three days a week which is going to be in september we're also going to be posting on our Alex Maxi, which is one of our new channel. And for those of you who do not know that we have another channel, look in the description box below. You're gonna see the link to Alex Maxi. Help us to get Alex Maxi up to a thousand subscribers. We are at 800 and something now. We're looking to get it to a thousand. Over on Alex Maxi, it's gonna be beauty videos, clothing and stuff like that, cooking and all of that. We also have another channel in the making and that we're going to start somewhere between October, somewhere there. It's going to actually be a cooking channel, but it's going to be a cooking channel with me and my truly cousin, Andrea. Some of you know Andrea who was on our live chat before talking about, you know, cooking and all of that, our daytime show. We are going to be having a cooking channel and it's going to be a cooking channel with a twist. Okay. It's not going to be the regular old cooking channel. It's going to be something more like Iron Chef, something like that. But you'll hear more about that channel coming up soon. So in the meantime, go and subscribe to Alex Maxi. And someone was asking about my vlog channel come September. Why September? Okay. September is a special month. Anyway, September is when things start back to roll. Okay. In, a, in August, you just take a little time for yourself. You relax, you chill, you enjoy the summer, but September is serious business. So all of this, we're going to be announcing very, very soon. Okay. So, you know, show some love to our channel. As a, thank you so much. People talking about the cooking channel. All right, guys. So if you're here, we're here for skincare today. And how many of you are into makeup? If you're into makeup, definitely subscribe to Alex Maxi. How many of you are into fashion? If you're into fashion, definitely subscribe to Alex Maxi because over there we're taking all of that. We're going to talk about fashion on the top and even fashion on the bottom okay yes we're gonna talk about bra size we're even gonna go you know under the slip and all of that kind we stop at the slip no we're not gonna we're just gonna have a good channel over there it still goes hand in hand you take care of your body here spa like and over there is the glam the glitz and all of that so definitely subscribe to our alex maxi right under the link is below the video and also don't forget you can still go and subscribe to our blog channel which has been inactive for a while but we're gonna get it back up and running i think we're gonna be posting on the blog channel only once a week once a week but it could be a long 30 minutes video but for the alex maxi three times a week and this channel will remain the same as is so definitely support the new beginnings and guess what we're looking for an editor if you're out there and you're good with editing 
send us a, your email to chichibeauty at gmail.com. We're looking for someone that is good with editing and editing on Final Cut Pro, okay? Final Cut Pro, we're looking for an editor. If you're out there, you're home, you have nothing to do and you can edit, we are looking for you. Now, with that said, oh, someone wants the link to the channel, it's Aless Maxi. That is the name of the channel. Aless Maxi, not Lex, but Less. Alex Maxi, and it's right in the description below. All right, so now let's go back to talking about natural remedies that can actually have to tighten firm boots collagen. How many of you have tried the banana facial mask? If you have tried banana facial mask, go ahead and comment right now. We have a wide variety of banana mask on the skin. Why do I like to use banana on my skin? Because it have to hydrate. It also have to clear pigmentation from the skin. Now, if you're looking to boost the collagen and reduce wrinkles, banana is good. Now, when you get your banana, the riper, the better. So do not throw out your overripe banana. Use them to make your facial mask. The color might not be bright and pretty, but it is very, very effective in hydrating and reducing the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. That's one natural remedy that you can use. Here another, here's another one, avocado. Avocado, well, most people like to use the avocado mask and everyone have a version of avocado mask. I like to use it also because I know the many benefits of the avocado. When you get your avocado, if you like to eat it like I like to eat it, you know all you're gonna use for the mask is a slice, just a slice. Sometimes I see people making the avocado mask and they would just cut that avocado and use a whole half and I'm like, no! You just need a slice, only a slice, all right? Just use a slice and make that mask. It's gonna help to boost the collagen and reduce wrinkles and fine lines. Another ingredient is coffee. And one of my subscribers sent an article to me once where you know there was a little controversy about using coffee on the skin. Now coffee, guys, let me tell you something about coffee. Coffee has been used for so many things. And some of you might not even know that they use the green coffee for weight loss. A couple of years ago, maybe about eight years or 10 years ago, green coffee was the it thing for weight loss. They have all these green coffee supplement um, along with um, what they call the other one, Garnier, something, another, something, another. Those were, you know, coffee for losing weight and also for reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin to each his own i don't mind i like to use the coffee on my skin do i believe that it's half the skin yes i do believe that it's at the skin so if you don't mind using the coffee go ahead whip it up in the rice or brew some coffee add some vegetable glycerin to that coffee a little bit of a vitamin e oil and use it on the skin we have a whole set of coffee remedy on the channel that you can try egg and honey how many of you have tried the egg and honey mask that's gonna also have to tighten the skin if you do not like to use egg on the skin the next best thing is the cornstarch we've been using a lot of cornstarch on this channel because the need is there for it so cornstarch have to tighten the skin you can choose to mix this cornstarch even with the but butterfly pea um tea and have to transform mix that cornstarch with some blueberries ooh, ooh, ooh. mix the cornstarch with some coffee mix the cornstarch with some matcha powder mix the cornstarch with some green tea mix the cornstarch with some chamomile tea mix the cornstarch with some lemon and that is going to help someone come in this week like do not use lemon on the skin lemon has been used for centuries on the skin all right everyone's skin is different for some people the acid might be too strong you can choose to dilute it or you can choose to mix it with other ingredients but lemon is going nowhere that is one natural ingredient that is not going anywhere when it comes on to skincare. It has been around for years and years and years and it's gonna live on because of that rich vitamin C. And a lot of people swear by using lemon on the skin. 
I personally like lemon on my skin. And for those of you who are looking to brighten that underarm, just get you can just cut open that lemon and scrub a scrub a scrubber or add a little olive oil to it. Scrub a scrub a scrubber. For all of us ladies with this ear a little bigger, you cut open that fresh lemon and you just, you know, put, use it under there, that nice aroma, make your skin feel clean and nice. All right, aloe vera gel. There's no way we're gonna not talk about aloe vera gel because it do have to reduce wrinkles. That's another ingredient that is going nowhere when it comes on to skincare world. Whether it is the one you're gonna do in the lab or the one you're gonna make in your kitchen, aloe vera is going nowhere. It's gonna be around for a long, long, long time because it works and it's not only good for reducing the wrinkles on fine lines on the skin, it's also good for boots in the collagen, it's also good for your hair, your nails, and it's also good for on the eye wrinkles, dark circles, it is just amazing overall. TTT, the banana and aloe work great for me. My skin feel and look great. And that is one recipe that I like. Love, 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 love the banana with the aloe vera gel. A couple of years ago, probably about three to four years ago, I make a mask and I think I'm gonna make it over. I use avocado, aloe vera gel, and banana. Avocado, aloe vera gel, and banana. And make... <clears throat> Sorry guys, I mix all the three together. That mask is amazing. Let me drink a little water for my throat. Um, Georgia Dawkin, definitely need to know how to apply makeup. Thank you for that. And we have a makeup video coming up very, very soon. We are probably will cross post it because, um, we actually get it to do for this channel, but we want to take it on the other channel. But I'll see how it's going to go. But we definitely will have a wide variety of makeup video on the Alice Maxi channel. All right. So if you're just joining, we are. Hi, Magdalene. How are you? I miss you guys so much. I don't see Rita today on the live, but we are open that she's doing well. And I think I will definitely check in on her. For those of you who don't know, you know, she's just going through a bit um, at this uh, time. All right. So if you're new, you want to be a part of our 25 day skincare challenge starting in September, got to check my calendar and we'll post the date. We're going to post it a few days before it starts. And I'm thinking it's going to be around about like the seven, eight or somewhere there so that you can all gear up and we're going to do the show, you know, like we did for the last one. And also if you want to be a part of our daytime show, which we're going to be having three days a week, starting September, definitely send your information so we can get you on the show. You have an idea for a show. You can do things. You want something to share. You can cur crochet. You want it out there. You have a little project working on. You want to show it off. You can be on our daytime show. And it's all via your phone. So it's easy. You don't have to take a plane ride to anywhere. Always so want to take a plane ride to somewhere. All right. So first up is Jamaica for me. All right. So we are moving on. We are sharing natural ingredients that you can use on the skin. How many of you use honey on the skin? If you use honey on your skin, comment, comment, comment. I normally like to use it in the recipes. If you're vegan, substitute is um, vegetable glycerin. You can definitely use. Hi, Loretta. Welcome to our live chat. Today, we're just Lana Nurse. Welcome. We're just chit chatting about reducing wrinkles and fine lines. And basically, we're also, you know, advertising some of the things that we are. Hello, Inez. Welcome to our live chat. Nazi, welcome back to um, take the skin. To the next level right now is question time is for we have 12 minutes to answer question what did you miss you know we talk about the antramycin that you can find like in the blueberries the butterfly pea all of those are natural ingredients that can help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines we talk a little bit about vitamin a vitamin a is an antioxidant also that for those of you who don't know when we talk about antioxidant antioxidants are vitamins okay and they comes in many different forms and you know you have vitamin a b c d and all of that you have the omega you have the electrolytes you have all of that good stuff so all of those are antioxidant okay now some people who are not 
you know, two verse, they might think that, well, when you say antioxidant, you mean something else. So normally I would say, you know, rich in antioxidant, vitamin C, rich in antioxidant, vitamin E. Okay. All right. I just want to make that clear because I do know sometimes people don't really understand the way, you know, um, these terminology works and hello um shiganai i think that's how you pronounce it from belgium i've been to belgium so I want to go back i had a sh it wasn't like um a long stay um food is amazing <laughs> yes the food is good I actually have a friend that lives there so anyway let's move on not netta brown loving this welcome to our live id how do i get to the live channel okay this is the live show that you're watching every time that we're gonna post a live video whenever we're having a live show we post a thumbnail you're gonna get a notification and on that notification is gonna give you the time however what i'm gonna start to do is to do the notification couple days before so whenever you come on you see normally like for the sunday show i don't make a fuss to post the notification early because we run this show for so long i know people are going to come and watch but for the new shows we're going to try to post them at least three to four days before so that people could know that the live show is going to take place on whatever the particular day is when you get that notification and the times then you just click on that link and that's how you get the live show all right all right fiji watching from fiji this is the first time i have someone watching and commenting from fiji welcome that's salami welcome to our live show now here's someone that is using honey Aminia, I mix honey with some of the homemade recipe and nice you mecton. Yes, yes, yes. And that's another ingredient that has been used for century on the skin. Honey, I, I have, what's going on? A little dust today. I have a little love age relationship with honey, which I discussed earlier, but I'm not going to deny the fact that honey have the skin, lot that moisture in the skin. Juliana, um, I like flaxseed and chia seed for my skin too. And the way I make the flaxseed on this channel, like um, tomorrow I think the video is gonna have a flaxseed. It's gonna be a facial scrub. For those of you who are looking for a facial scrub that you can use when you're steaming the face, the video tomorrow is a very, very good one. We're mixing rice with flaxseed. You gotta watch that video. And that, the granules are amazing. I actually used it yesterday on my skin and it was feeling really, really good. So watch out for that video tomorrow. Flaxseed and rice mixed with some other ingredient to create a facial mask, a facial mask that is good for the face, the neck. You can also use it on your hands. So you apply, you steam your face, you use that exfoliator, and then you rinse off. Amazing. Okay. All right. So flaxseed gel used as a facial serum or a facial moisturizer is actually one of my favorite. I love my homemade moisturizer or my homemade serum that I use the flaxseed gel and also the chia seed. The, the flaxseed is easier to handle than the chia when you're extracting the gel. But if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and look at it and try some of the remedy. All right, guys. So it's Sunday and we are taking some comments right now. I hope you don't get bored today. I, I just don't feel the energy from you all today. All right. Maybe too much announcement, right? But it's the end of the month and we got to do the announcement so that you all know what is coming next month. How many of you watch all the videos that we post this week? This week, which last week that is, we actually share some amazing video and all of those were new content. So if you have not seen those videos, go and watch them. They are loaded with information that is good for the skin. Chichi, I present it to you and others. That is on the live. Peace and love. Peace and love. Okay, so we are moving on. If you are here, we're talking about natural ingredients that can have to boost collagen. How many of you on the chat watching right now are taking collagen supplement? 
If you're taking collagen supplement or you're using collagen peptide, any form of a collagen powder, comment, comment, comment. We'd like to hear from you because we want to know if it's really, if you see any form of a difference on your skin when it comes on to wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. If you're using collagen supplement, comment, whether you're making your smoothies, whether you are just taking some pill supplement or you are just whipping it up some bone brought in your kitchen. Let me hear from you. Now we have um one person is using it. Now let me hear. Since you start using the collagen, um, what whatever it is, whether it's a powder or the tablet, do you really see any difference in your skin where wrinkles and fine lines is concerned? Let me hear. Joy, you're using, let me hear. Jill taking the supplement. Do you see any difference? I just want to hear the comment to let me know because um we talk so much about collagen, peptide, collagen, collagen on this channel that we want. Oh, someone tried the um, the Vaseline mask, the Vaseline facial mask that we make um, in this week form of a slugging. Let me tell you something. I know petroleum jelly got a bad, well, it's getting and still is getting a bad rap. But if you try that, Facial mask slash that slugging recipe that we post using that petroleum jelly this week. And you walk away with me and be like, it didn't do anything. There's no way I would believe that. That is so amazing. When I'm done with it, my skin was looking and feeling good. But here, who is going to get away with that? Who is going to get away using petroleum or even if you're going to use ghee or anything like that on your face that is heavily like oily like that the people that steam and exfoliate if you steam and you exfoliate you can use these because your skin is clean and pores are open and it's not going to clog the pores okay but if you are the type of person that you don't steam you don't exfoliate when you put that the pores are already clogged and it just go right and sit on top of whatever is already clogged in the pores. But if you try it, go make it, watch it and come back and come in. All right. So one person commenting about the powder that is Shigani. I use the powder a lot better, but if you stop with the powder, then your face is a mess. Why? Oh, okay. So you're using the powder and you're saying that if you, whenever you stop, your face is a mess. You know why? Um, I am going to tell you that you need to do the facial massages. Collagen is helping to boost the skin. So if you have wrinkles, and this is something people need to know when it comes on to beauty world. It's ongoing. There's no stopping. It's like eating food. You got how many of you sometimes you find yourself looking all good, radiant, you get up and you spend a month? On my channel, you have people that come on and they're on the channel a month, two months, three months, four months, and then they're gone. Then they come back. My face is breaking out. Da, 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 da. It's just human nature because sometimes we're into some things and another time we just can't be bothered. We're going through things. Life happened. Sideration is going on. We don't have any time for facial. But guess what? That's what happened. When you stop, things go back to normal. The only way, and guess what? And even if you go and you get a professional facelift done, guess what? You have to maintain it. And a lot of people are not aware of that. When you go get your prof professional facelift, you better make sure you massage it. You better make sure you use those collagen boots and products and oils and serum on the face because it's going to fall. Because aging is happening and we can't stop it. As I said, what we can do, we can slow it down. So when you stop doing the powder, it's going to happen. But I would suggest you do our 25 day skincare challenge. It's coming up. We already have a past one. The link is in the description box, or you can join the new one coming up September. And we're going to show you how you can get your face to look good, even with you decide that you're not going to do the collagen supplement, how you can massage that skin, how you can use vitamin A to lift, tighten, and have amazing results while also eating healthy, okay? All right, so don't forget, 
um okay thank you so much for that key if you're watching and you didn't hit the like button because we're using this stream yard now i cannot see how much of you know you like it and sometimes i forget so don't forget to hit the like button give it a thumbs up and guys commenting on the live show is very important when you watch the show and the show is over you can also share it on your social media page like share it on your facebook share it on your instagram so others can come over and watch and that is how you actually spread the news sheila is using vital protein for over three months i see a difference in my digestion and my hair sheds less so that's another thing that a lot of people are not aware of when we talk so much about um boots in collagen and also this antromycin is not especially when you internal take it internally it's also not only helping your skin but it also helping your hair and your nails so we are also on our cooking show the reason i'm asking about that on our cooking show we're gonna make like some smoothies some weight loss drinks and stuff like that and we basically will dive into you know talking about collagen because even though it's food we're gonna tie that cooking show and then on with skincare and taking care of yourself so we're gonna make a lot of healthy options over on you know the new channel very soon in a few days or so we're gonna post the channel so that you guys can also start to subscribe to the channel before we start sharing videos now um my nails also appears to grow faster however i don't see any different in my skin my doctor told me to use um prenatal vitamins and we're not gonna address that right now but um yeah so let me keep my mouth shut about that all right so definitely that is rich in a lot of these collagen boots and properties also uh, remember she said her doctor so don't run out there and do any form of a prenatal unless you consult your doctor welcome sandra f i haven't seen you for a couple of days but then again i wasn't on and we have um mary watching from zimbabwe now you have a beautiful looking face right there mary looking really really good welcome to our live chat we're basically taking questions now because i see that my time is up today i want to make dinner guys yes i want to make some dinner the summer is almost over and i am gonna be like so busy come september like so busy but the good thing you're gonna see me more you're gonna see me more you know i was like missing an action in august that's the time i take to spend a little time with myself but come september you're gonna see me more often because we have the 25 day skincare challenge we have you know two other channels that we're gonna be posting on and plus we are gonna have our weekdays with chicha beauty so you're gonna see me more so i hope you stand by me and support and we have some good things coming up so don't forget if you want to be on our live show any of our live show or if you have a topic that you think we can do on our show please send your information to chichi beauty we are taking you know and also the members of the channel don't be afraid to send your ideas that's why you are members you're here to criticize you're here to say listen you didn't do that good today next week do this that's why you become a member so you have a say in what goes on in the channel so send those emails to chichibuti at gmail.com send your ideas little things that we can do to change things up to make this place a better platform also we have a wide we have a, a long list of people who want to be a part of our zoom get together our zoom meeting that we're deciding we're going to be doing off this so that is still open so if you want to be a part of the zoom movement where we're going to talk about women issue mostly so send your email also to chichibuti at gmail.com in the subject put zoom ideas put ideas and so on and make it big make it big and bold because we get thousands of email daily okay thousand and this is no joke this is true thousand of email daily but if you make it big make it stand out if you put a color you write with red ink blue ink like instead of the black you will stand out so we could pick those emails out faster so definitely send all the information to 
to Chichi Beauty at Gmail. Titi, I got some uh, apricot oil. What should I mix it with? That is actually very good. I think I use it about twice on this channel. I still have mine. I like to use it. You can actually use the apricot oil directly on the skin, but you can use it uh, just the way you use the papaya seed oil, okay? So anything that costs for papaya seed you can use it or even anything that's called for like rosehip oil or even the squalene oil use that apricot seed oil just the same now i have um loretta um i'm watching from tampa florida now when it comes on to tampa florida i'm so familiar with that name from i was a child my father used to be in tampa florida um six months out of every year since i was a child so we learn a lot about tampa florida so normally when it comes up like you know it just ring a bell anyway we are moving on jill got to go by enjoy dinner i will email you definitely do that jill taryn i you did you send out no we didn't send out the oil but we're sending it out this week as a matter of fact one of the reasons why those oil didn't go out and i'm gonna keep it real with you um my little assistant, of course, was all ready to send out the oils. I was the reason why the oils didn't go out because guess who was busy doing our personal business and not really focusing on, you know, the things that need to be done on the channel me and that is why you see i missed a sunday chit chat i missed some videos and all of that was going on because i was just really taking care of me and that is the honest truth but everything was back up and running and we're gonna get those oil out this week and we also have someone else that actually won a little token that is gonna go out this week also so bear with me all right so that is my time let me answer um naya koti um, I there really want to make a cucumber rose gel from scratch. How can I do that? Can I use a powder or should I use oil? Don't want to clog the pores. So you want to make a cucumber rose gel. All right, the easiest way to make this cucumber rose gel, it means that you're gonna use some form of a gel. Now, what is this gel is gonna be? You can choose to do the flaxseed gel, or the easiest one is to use some aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel meaning the store-bought one where they put all that binding and you get it in the gel form. No aloe vera gel, you wanna make your own gel, then go ahead and get some um, flax seed or you can use the cornstarch. The cornstarch method I also like because it's absorbing. How you make the cornstarch gels, cornstarch gels to start with, you get some cornstarch, you put some hot water on it and it forms that gel, like, like real glass-like gel. And then you squeeze that cucumber, you get that. If you're using rose oil or you're using rose petal, grate or squeeze the juice from that cucumber, get that rose oil. If it's rose petal, then you need to steam it or brew it just like you do the green tea and you add all of that to that cornstarch or that flaxseed gel or that aloe vera gel and that is how you're gonna make it and guess what it's not gonna clog the pores because this is very very light and it's mostly water based i could actually try to build a recipe around it for you um cucumber rose gel all right, I'm going to try to see. I hope I remember. I normally promise I'm making recipes and I don't. So I'm going to try to come up with the recipe for you. So watch out for that. But definitely, as I said, as the base, you need a gel. You want it to be jelly. You're going to use the flaxseed gel. How you make the flaxseed gel, you just boil the flaxseed, strain it off before it gets cool. And then you have that gel. And that gel, you can make serum. You can make moisturizer. You can make anything. The cornstarch is the same. You have the hot water to it. It's jelly-like. You can add all the amazing oils and cucumber juice and parsley juice and everything like that. All right, guys. So that is my time today. I'm looking forward for the emails, okay? So guess what? Between today and Wednesday, I am going to be looking out for all of you emails, whether you have ideas for me, whether you have um, you want to be on the live chat, whether you want to be a part of the 25 Day Skincare Challenge. I'm going to look out for all of those emails. So send them between today and Wednesday. That's my time for Sunday Chit Chat. Next week is September. So next week we're coming with all the new things. So be prepared. And remember, spread the word share some love share this video when the show is over on your social media so we get more people to come and do our 25 day skincare challenge and more people to join our live chat we want to take the live chat to where it was years ago years ago our live chat we used to have like 
regular watching thousand and a half people watching we know this time change you know some country comes with all the rules and regulation and things you know but we want to take it back and we want interesting content and that's why we're reaching out to you to help us to come up with better ideas and more engaging ideas for this channel and all the members we're looking out for those emails from you to help us, you know, to create new shows with new ideas. Thank you so much for watching today. We are happy you were here. Come back next Sunday and also go and watch the video. If you didn't see the video this morning that we post for this overnight facial mask, go ahead and watch it and leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know you watch the live and that's why you went over there to you know to watch the video and at the end of the show see my hands the overnight facial mask is still there so be good to yourself love yourself and i'll see you soon have a great week love yourself take care of you do a facial do a steam do something for yourself this week okay be good bye bye thank you all for watching